Hey, greetings, everyone. This is First in Twenty Seventy Three with the next episode of Principia uh, Masters of Science with Isaac Newton. We are in June of seventeen sixteen seventy two. Newton is now thirty years old. Um, let's see here. He said he needs further calculations, but we have just discovered that pi is an irrational number. Now. The other scientists in this field of arithmetic. Oh, what is that series? Is anyone interested in this? No, no one's interested in this. Maybe I'll become interested in that. Whoa, look at that. Looks like some astronomical observations. I've never attempted that. But I do want a field of dynamics somewhere. Okay, this game's getting broader. Uh, let's go into arithmetic. No one is an authority in arithmetic. Oh, a paper is composed. Ah, he's going to get me. He's going to publish this paper next, probably. I probably shouldn't waste time on that. Instead of wasting time on Pi, I should look for some more. Because he's going to publish the paper probably next turn. So instead, let's conduct some reasoning and see if we can grab some other discoveries. Because I want to at least publish two papers in this. We're halfway through experimentation. I should finish experimentation, I think. Prime numbers are a mysterious bunch. After all, they can be divided. They can't be divided by any other number. Reasoning's got a long way to go there. I don't know how to bring up my reasoning. But I can definitely go through all the experimentation that I need. He wants me to do more reasoning. Let's go back to the map. Enlarged view of an ant by Anton. Somebody moved to Copenhagen. I guess you can move places to improve relationships with people. That's what I'm thinking is the primary objective there. Okay, who was the guy? Arithmetic. Godfrey Liebenens. I can't say his name. Papers composed, but he didn't publish it. That's frustrating. I don't know if I should go in and try to publish the paper. We're close to being complete, but it's not very important. But it would be probably just enough to get that um, position. Let's try to prove the theory. Because I know right when we compose the paper, he's going to publish it. So we just got completion of pi as an irrational number. Which didn't improve any of my skills at all. Damn, he just published it. I knew that was a waste. I knew that was a waste of a turn. Financial aid, that always helps. Giovanni Cassini. And he is part of the Academy of Sciences, Paris Academy of Sciences. So our relations are really improving. Let's do some more reasoning. We got a long way to go on reasoning. Looks like I'm gonna try to get something in prime numbers, hopefully. The fame! Godfrey, ooh, my competitor! 
Oh, he's going after me. He probably is going to make me lethargic. Oh, wow. He shut me down. But his fame decreased. I can't afford to lose fame. Wow, what a jerk. We're getting money. Now he wants to be friends? He just defamed me and now he wants to give me money? I mean, on principle, I want to say no, but I think for the game, it'll be more advantageous. Yuck. Okay, I'll take the money. Yeah, that improved the humidity. Lethargic. I need to do more work, though. So, the paper has been published. Pi is an irrational number. I cannot publish a paper on that, because then I'll be criticized for being... for plagiarism. And being unoriginal. I gotta rest. Isaac Barrow is moving into astronomy. French Academy of Sciences lacks credibility. Robert Hooke attacking me there too. Robert Hooke's all over the place. I gotta buy him off, I think. He should be losing fame and credibility every time the paper uh, challenge doesn't work. I think, that's what I think. Okay, so we're no longer lethargic. Let's get into the li laboratory. Let's do a calculation. Our calculations are almost complete. Pattern. There's a pattern to solving cubic equations. However, substituting it, substituting is a task in itself. Skill in mathematics. I forgot to check. I wanted to see uh, what our friend was doing over there, Gottfried. Reading a book. I'm in Halley's reading a book. Move to Basil. Offer financial assistance to Isaac Newton. What did he do since then? I don't see him taking any other actions. Did he not do anything that month? Oh, there he is. Arithmetic. Reasoning. Uh-oh. He's moving on arithmetic. We gotta keep moving on arithmetic. Let's do a calculation. Because we're almost complete with all the calculations. And maybe we'll get something. Cubic equations. Mathematics. Nope. Alright, so now I think we can probably move in on uh, reasoning. I wonder what the formula is. Financial aid, more financial aid. Edmund Halley, there's my buddy. A letter from Edmund Halley. I will accept financial aid from you. Which will improve our friendship to 90. Alright, now it's time to conduct further reasoning. Now I wonder if I increase my knowledge of mathematics, will 
the reasoning go up quicker. And do I have time to waste? He's reading a book concerning thermology. I think it would be cool if once in a while something from another field impacted your knowledge in a different field. Like cross-curricular concepts. Let's read a book of mathematics. Still on that gambling thing. Knowledge of mathematics is up to 47. That went up higher. Did it? I think it did. Godfrey is challenging my paper now. At the uh, Royal Society of London. And I guess it's really just a waste of turn for him. Because it just gets rejected. He's definitely my rival. So I guess what I want to do, since he wasted his time doing that, why don't I attend a lecture on mathematics? Because this really gives us a good boost, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice boost. Nine points for the knowledge of mathematics. So hopefully our reasoning will go up now. And knowledge was... No, I don't know. Knowledge was in uh, the 40s. And now knowledge is in the 50s, so... Did we get five points? From reasoning? Integers, the sum of its divisor, excluding itself, is equal to the number itself. Isn't it? For example, six. Oh, wow. And that reasoning went up six. Hmm. All right, so uh, expanding my knowledge, I think, definitely impacts how much reasoning I could do. And more criticism. This guy's just wasting his time. While he continues to waste his time, I am going to advance myself in mathematics. Friendship is as low as it can go. Okay. I'm going to attend another lecture. What do I get if I practice mathematics? Let's try to practice mathematics. And I wonder what drawing does. Skill of mathematics is now up to 8. Alright, so we got pretty good skill. We got really good knowledge. And uh, Gottfried was offering financial aid and it wasn't accepted. And now he's trying to defame us. Oh man, he's going to shut us down. He's really coming after me. And he's losing his fame. Are we lethargic? No, we are not. Go ahead and conduct some more reasoning. Pretty soon we should come up with another discovery. Integers. That's up to six. 
All right, so if anything, I need to be expanding my knowledge. Somebody was reading mathematics. I saw that. Expand my knowledge so I can improve my reasoning. So I think another uh, another lecture. He's saying I need further calculations. Calculations would max me out, but I wonder if I get something after that. Let's go ahead and max out the calculations, see if we get something for that. There we go. Tis equal in value to some of to the sum of the dividers excluding itself. This may well be the fifth perfect number. Sudden idea, the fifth perfect number is, oh my god. Okay, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> so, I guess I could figure it out. The fifth perfect number. That makes me nervous. What are we looking at here? Importance is 30. Paper is not yet composed. This is something I want to research on the internet before I actually decide to uh, go ahead and um, research it. I know people watching this probably already know the answer. I am going to put a cut in the episode here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.